Hey, what's up, what's up? It's Rain, Rain, Storm of Blood, Wednesday edition. I'm chilling out in the studio with Chaos Anubis. What's up, man? What's up, Rain? How you doing? Ah, doing good, doing good. We're doing better now that we actually got your interview in. <laughs> right, right. It's been like, uh, what, three weeks? Yeah, I, I know you said you were going to be in the crypt before it happened, so uh, is it frosty there? What's that? Is it frosty in the crypt? Because you said you'd be oh. in the crypt, you know, before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. It's definitely frosty. It's like uh, 20 feet of snow out here in Grand Rapids. It's just it's pretty fucking cold, man. man. So, I mean, we obviously, I have not had you on my show before, so this is the first time. But, so I got lots of goodies to ask you. The first time's always the uh, cherry breaker. <laughs> So, I mean, what's been going on for you lately? I mean, I've noticed, you know, a bunch of shows are going down, you know, for you and your crew. I mean, what what's going on with that? Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of shit going down. Um, first things first, we got my uh, birthday bash coming on April 5th, and that's here in Grand Rapids. That's also the release of my new album. Uh, for those that don't know, it's called Out the Crypt. It's my 11th uh, studio album, and um, it's basically just... Uh, I mean, all my other albums have had a lot of collabs and whatnot. It's pretty much just straightforward me. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's probably like one collab on the album. Straight wicked shit. Like, it's just gonna, I'm just ready to unleash it. Awesome, awesome. So, I mean, how many albums does this make for you now? Well, if you count, <laughs> I, I, it's, it's hard to look. Because, I mean, I've been in, I've had a lot of side projects. Um, I've been in like three different groups. Yeah. So, I'm. I mean, if you count all those, it's probably like, I don't know, 16 albums or something ridiculous like that. Damn. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm, I'm sure, like, not everybody's going to know that, but, I mean, if you do the research, I've been doing this since, you know, late 97, 98. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's been a long time coming. Awesome. So, you started all the way back in the 90s. I mean, what, what inspired you to get started in this particular genre and whatnot. I mean, when did you wake up and just say, okay, I want to be a rapper? Honestly, it was it was the first time I heard ICP. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's how it started for a lot of us juggalos. It's, like, it's just, they were onto something new. I remember buying Riddle Box and it was like, this is fucking phenomenal, man. I never heard anything like this. These white boys are talking about murder. Like, that's fucking, that's crazy. <laughs> They're not talking about no mainstream shit. Like, this is, this is the real deal. Like, that, I mean, it inspired me. I can't say that it did. Like, that's, that's the reason I'm doing this shit, man. They just, they were, they broke open the doors for all of us to, there's so many of us juggalos and, you know, artists that do wicked shit out there. They, they broke down the floodgates, so we're able to go out there and, and make a living off this shit. No, that's what's up. I mean, I, I know a lot of people, you know, credit ICP for that very thing. And, I mean, what what's the status now? I mean, you're still a juggalo? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll always be a juggalo. I mean, um, it's just not like it was before. I mean, like, being an artist, is, I don't have time to, like, constantly, like, loosen ICP and, you know, twist it and all that. It's not that I don't like them. It's not nothing of the sort. It's just... When you do your own thing, it's like now you're just focused on, on your career, you know? Yeah. And I'll always support, I'll support everything they do. I'll buy everything they put out. Like, that's, you know, that's just, I'm a loyal dude, man. Like, I'm loyal to my, the artist that I listen to, and I'm, I'm a collector of albums and shit like that. So, you know, I'll always support them. But once you start doing your own thing, you're, you're, you're focused on yourself, you know, and you're getting your own name out there. Yeah, definitely <laughs> so. I mean, That's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, and I mean, I can see how it would be, you know, it, it's difficult to keep up with everybody else's stuff when you're doing your own, when you're doing so much stuff, and, right. you know, I seem to see, you know, you pretty much almost every day in my newsfeed, and you're always talking about something <laughs> new, and I'm like, wow, I mean, you gotta respect the grind and the hustle, but, I mean, do you ever get... I mean, burned out at all? I mean, it seems like you're constantly doing stuff. No, it's just, it's part of the lifestyle. I mean, like, if anybody that's uh, listening out there is uh, doing the same shit I'm doing, is, you know, promoting themselves, it's a constant, everyday promotional thing. Like, it's not that I'm going to get 10 million likes 
on a post or garnish, you know, a bunch of fans within a couple of days. It just doesn't work like that, you know. Mm-hmm. But, but I got to keep putting my name out there because you never know when someone's going to see it. You never know when someone's going to play a song or you just you got to keep doing it, especially when you're not quite known yet. It's like you got to be constantly on the grind, promoting, doing shows, dropping albums. Because the minute you don't, they forget about you. No, very, very true. I mean, I, I can say it as, you know, I'm not a rapper myself, but, I mean, knowing so many, I can, you know, definitely attest to that fact. Everybody's like, who? You know, you're old news if you haven't dropped an album in, like, you know, three months. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I, your man's a rapper, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, you got to be on his grind, man. Like, you just got to, you know, we all got to be out there promoting our shit, like, Otherwise, you know, people don't know what's out there unless you're really established like that, you know? Well, especially with Facebook's reach algorithm now. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Like, it's just, you know, that's what I do, man. I, I got two different pages to update. I got, a, you know, I, obviously, for those that don't know, I run Nocturnal Records out of Grand Rapids, and it's been a long time coming. Like, we're, we're blowing up. You know, a lot of you probably know Psychotic from doing the show. Like, yeah, we've had we've had psychotic in here. Psychotic's been on my show. He's been on David's show. Bloodstained. He's been on his show. He's <laughs> psychotic's like the interview whore. <laughs> right, exactly. He's, he's good at what he does, man. Like he, he just puts it all out there. He knows exactly what he wants. And, you know, so do I. That's just how we are. That's why we're gonna make it. It's just smell that success, you know. Yeah. So I mean. When you decided to, you know, form Nocturnal and whatnot, I mean, did you have kind of a dream that it was going to actually go this far? I always knew, just in the back of my mind, like, I've always been in, like, I started off doing metal bands, like, before I rapped, and then that never went nowhere, because it was like, everybody had to be on the same page, no one was ever, I couldn't find four or five people to get the same vision, it just doesn't work that way. And I was like, fuck this, man. I'm going to change all this shit, make it rap, and I'm going to make it work. And that's that's what I did. And I you know, started Nocturnal. People started to see, like, this dude's blowing up, man. He's got he's getting a little name for himself. People just want to start riding with me. And that's how it kind of became to be. It's, people started seeing us. They see the energy up when I'm on stage. Like, it's just it's insanity. I, I don't know. It's just kind of it's been growing from there pretty much. People got it tattooed on them. I mean, it's fucking... How can people say that's not blowing up? I mean, I get all kinds of pictures of people with nocturnal records in the cave with the bat wings. Like, that's blowing up in my mind. Like, lightweight, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, I mean, it's it's more stuff. success than most people will ever see. They're, they're, they're passionate about it. I mean, if you're going to tat somebody's fucking record label on your arm or your tit or whatever, you're... You're making, you know, you're you're reaching somebody. Like, why would you get something tatted on you if it don't mean something to you? You know. Exactly. That's the ultimate tribute. Exactly. Well, I mean, yeah. as far as you know, fan base and things like that. I know you've got fans all over the place, but you've got a huge following there in Michigan. Right. Right. Yeah, we do a lot of our shows out of Michigan, but uh, we're looking to expand that. This I mean, we played Wisconsin for the first time last year, Bloody Ruckus, and, uh, I mean, it's just been, it's been growing, you know, we try to go everywhere, play any, anywhere we can, really. Awesome. So, I mean, with these shows and, you know, things coming up, I mean, are you still booking more shows on top of the ones that are already there? Oh, well, we're always booking shows. <laughs> I mean, I get, there's not a day that goes by I don't open my Facebook or email and get messages from somebody asking me to bring them to Grand Rapids, you know, or wherever in Michigan and do a show, or if I want to get on this show, this show, it's like, I just got to pick and choose what what's going to, what I'm going to benefit from, what my artists are going to benefit from, and then, you know, just kind of go from there, but I'm always booking shows, like with this, out the crypto, and we're doing the Midwest Murder Tour, and that starts with, my, with uh, the release of the new album, April 5th, and then we're just going to go hard all year long, like, that's just how it is, like, especially in the underground, man. You just got to tour and get your name out there. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So, I mean, is this one of the first tours you've done, or is this, you know, something that you 
you know, done well, we before. Did, well, the last album I had, which was uh, Bring On The Death, we did a Bring On The Death tour that went to, like, Colorado and um, a couple different places, but it wasn't as, as big as this one's going to be. So it's kind of, it's going to be our first, like, um, I don't know, statewide or however you want to say it, tour, I guess. Yeah, nationwide, I guess. I, nationwide, I, think, I think that's how we say I think that's how us proper people say it. <laughs> I'm not proper. Uh, I, I'm not really either. I just, I know the words. I, right, I can almost gotta, pass. Almost. Right. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be, you know, you're running the interview, so. Yeah, I, and I have to talk to people from all over the place, so it's, it's one of those things where... I gotta uh, at least be intelligible a little bit, <laughs> so they're not like, "Huh? What? What is she doing?" Uh, I'm sitting here eating, uh, drinking sweet tea here in the south. Uh, well, yeah. Well, man, I mean, tell us about the new album. I mean, you touched on it briefly. I mean, what was the mindset behind this album? I mean, I know you said that there's not a lot of collab work on it, that it's more straightforward and more of you. So, I mean, what what does this mean to you? The new album is like, it's, it's hard to tell because, like, my last album was called Bring on the Death. Like, and it was 20 tracks. Like, it was a lot of. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different styles on the album, but it was pretty much straight horrorcore. But this is like, with this album, it's like, this has pretty much been the darkest year of my life. So it's, it's, a, it's a personal record. There's songs on there like Withered and Cold, where it's just really depressing and dark and about, life is fucked up, man. Like, you never know what life's going to do, you know, like what card it's going to deal you. And you know, I've been dealt some pretty rough cards, so it's, it's a testament to that. It's just the songs are really dark. There's no, there's no let up on this album. There's no happy songs on it. There's no, <laughs> like there's no. It's just it's a really dark record. Like, there's no happy songs. That's how you should preface it. Really happy songs, but you know, it's like there's no really, there's no really positive message. In it. It's just a really dark record. And I think anyone that's going through something fucked up in their life, I think, can relate to it. You know. Mm -hmm. and, and somebody that's going through depression or, or hard times, which I think is pretty much half the people in this world, yeah. can you know can relate to that. You know, like thing all it's cracked up to be sometimes. That's kind of what the song is. Well, awesome. I mean, I, I, well, not awesome. You went through a, you know, but that you found, you know, the inspiration to actually make something, you know, just making the the fact you made an album is making something out of it more so than just sitting around. Right, right. Yeah, and, and, and the other thing is the songs. Like if you if you do hear the album, the songs are not all really long and, and overdone. It's like I, if I can make the point. In under two minutes or two and a half minutes, I'm gonna I'm gonna scrap it right there because there's no reason to overdo a song. Like I wanted something that just it's about 29 minutes long and it's just it flows really well and you you're left wanting more. I mean, people that have heard the album, they want to hear more from it. I'm like, well, this is kind of what it is right now. You know, it's just I don't want to overdo it. You know, I just I don't want to overstate my welcome on this album. It's just me and there's only so much. You can hear from just one voice, you know. I mean, that's the way I view it anyway. Hmm. Well, they obviously want to hear your voice, so. <laughs> right, right, but I mean, I don't want to give them, you know, overdo 20 tracks of just me. You know, it's just kind of. Yeah, 20, you know, you know five minute tracks. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of, you know, especially when your voice is the same and stuff. I mean, my voice changes from time to time, but it's just, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, with the new album and things like that, I mean, is that, you know, one of your proudest accomplishments to date? Or, I mean, what is your proudest accomplishment? That's that's, that's a good question, because it's like, I'm, there's so much that I'm proud of, of uh, musically that I've done. I mean, having, having this many albums out, having done, you know, shows with people that I look up to, you know, um... But yeah, definitely, it's, and I know it's cliche to say, but it's probably my best album. Everybody that's heard it is like, dude, you're fucking, you're really bringing it on this album. Like, it's fucking, it's dark, it's sick, like, your lyrical content's sick, you know, your delivery's sick. Like, it's, it's, it's probably my best album. It's probably my proudest accomplishment right now. 
Well, awesome. I mean, and to the people that are out there, you know, listening in that may not know, you know, and actually, you know, want to get to know more about you, we're actually going to play some of your music right now. <laughs> right now, right now. So, um, this song, Dig a Hole, what can you tell me about that? It's got kind of like a rock edge to it. Like, I want to, like, I'm a performer. Like, I know a lot of artists see their performers, but they just get up there and stand there. And it's like, I, I perform when I'm on stage. Like, I really feel, I, I got to be able to feel what I'm saying and perform it, you know? And this is one of the songs that it just hits, it crushes. It's, it's got kind of a rock edge to it. And, I, I mean, I think people will dig it. It's got a good response from the promo video I got on YouTube, so... Um, yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, I will be right back with Chaos Anubis. This is Chaos Anubis with Dig a Hole right here on Muser. Are you I walk my path alone I ain't afraid to put your neck in a chokehold Break the mold if you wanna walk down this road Keep talking shit, watch the hatred grow Mask of death, I wear, I drop you below I'm in the midst of obtaining your soul Every word is not gold, truth be told Deep that your hands off, burn your body charcoal Carcass gets tossed in the midst of God bowl The family to attend What's the cost? The empty shell that you bought Coming at me, bitch And the wickedness gets brought I'm about to dig a hole 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 Dig a hole Watch it fall deep down Dig a hole deep under the fucking ground Dig a hole To kill all your weak sound Put you underneath the What's up, what's up, Rainstorm of Blood is live on a Wednesday night. Got Chaos Anubis in here. That was his song right there. Uh, oh, crap. I lost, yeah, I lost, I lost the title. I'm crappy like that. <laughs> it, it clears off the screen. Come on now, radio people, fix that. <laughs> yeah, we played Dig a Hole. You don't even know either, and you okay, wrote it. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I mean, I, I'm trying to concentrate on the interview. I don't know. Like, <laughs> no, that shit's called Dig a Hole. I know that shit's kind of short, but it's, it's, it's to the point. I think it's going to, you know, get crowds riled up, and, you know, so that's kind of why I did that one. Awesome. So, I mean, you know, getting the crowds, you know, moving and things like that, I mean, is that how you pick up a lot of new fans? Honestly, that's how I pick up all my fans. Like, I, I mean, like, to hear me is one thing, to see me is another. Like, you can just hear a track and go, yeah, he's all right, he's good, whatever. He's great. But, I mean, like, once you witness it, it's like I get my fans from that. That's why I said the performance is, like, the most important thing to me. Not that making music isn't, making good music isn't, but, like, performing, being on stage and, and bringing it to the crowd, man, if you're just up there standing there with a mic looking stupid, Chances are, people are probably not going to be real interested. Yeah. Like, I, 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 don't, I perform like I'm in a fucking metal band. Like, I'm, I'm, up, I'm up there thrashing, you know. I want I want to get the crowd into my performance. I want them to be feeling this shit. Like, not just looking at their watches. Like, when the hell is this dude going to be done? Like, you know, that's the 
reason I was able to headline with fucking Mars and, and all these King Gory and all these fucking acts that have been around forever. You know, I, I'm the only one that's fucking brought them to my city and co-headline. Not, I'm not talking about like buy-ons. I'm talking about like co-fucking headline with these artists. You know, like King Gordy played my birthday bash. You know, like it's and Mars was in the very next day, like in my city. Like, come on, man, that's crazy. That's awesome right there. I mean, and, you know, a lot of people, you know, they mistake and they think that buy-ons and co-headlining are the same thing. It is not the same thing, people. (laughs) Buy-ons is where you pay a shit ton of money for an allotted slot and they don't really care who you are. (laughs) Give it to them. That's that's the truth, man. I've, I've, I've done it, man. I'm guilty of paying out the ass to get on shows and be lost in the midst of 45 fucking performers up there and people are like who was that one guy that was up there in makeup with fucking like they don't remember they ain't gonna remember you out of 45 fucking people <laughs> like no matter how good they were like how, what are the chances they're gonna remember you out of that like it's just that's reality like I get asked all the time do you wanna pay 300, 400 dollars to be with this no like I like I, I'm past that point like I, I'm not trying to pay a shit ton of money to get a 10 minute slot where chances are they're gonna fucking forget about my performance because it's lost in the mix yeah the, when they sandwich you there between you know every other unmemorable rapper and uh, me and David had a joke about it we said that uh, these rappers are standing on their ex like there's an imaginary fucking ex on the stage and they're just standing there on that fucking eggs. Right, exactly. That's that's kills I mean, that's me. What it is, man? It's, it's you're paying out the ass to get on these shows, and like the promoters are making fucking bank off these people, man. Like just to get your name on a bill with where there's ten other people on there. It's like oh, fuck that, man. I'll pay the thousand five hundred bucks to bring these motherfuckers here myself, and it would be twisted and chaos anubis rather than. Twisted Chaos, blah, 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 like a bunch of other fucking performers. I mean, it's, it's cool to do that once in a while, but, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather do it the other way and, and co-headline with them. And people know that it's, it's our show with them, you know, it's nocturnal and whoever we're with. Yeah, I've heard a lot, uh, especially uh, on the event page, uh, your fans, Nocturnal Domination. They're like, I, I, I've learned so much. <laughs> shit, I mean, like, and I'm not saying anything because, you know, I mean, I probably got just as many haters as I do fans, and that's cool. That, that proves right there that you're doing something with your fucking music. Like, you got to have haters, man. I love them haters. Hate me all fucking day, man say my name on post like it's there's nothing wrong with that you know like there's there's just nothing wrong with it to me man like I got a lot of fans I'm sure I got a lot of haters too I hear from them all the time like that's cool man that's that's awesome that's why I got in this shit to do anyway is to fucking you gotta be you know there's the good and the bad and you gotta be ready for both of them man you're never gonna make it for real no matter what kind of no matter what kind of music I try to make I could be mainstream I could be this, that, I could sell 50 million albums. Somebody's going to complain. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, well, that's there's reality. always there's always somebody out there that's not going to be happy, so... Right. You can't of please course. everybody. That's the way shit is in this world. People like to go on, go on people's pages. I've seen it. Like, even big groups like Twisted, ICP, like, thousands of hate messages. Like, you guys fucking suck, man. You need to die, like... Wow, really? You're taking time out of your day to go tell ICP they should blow their fucking brains out. Like, and they're laughing all the way to the bank. They're laughing all the way to the bank. Like, that's crazy. I would love that shit if some people went to my page and like, blow your brains out, chaos. Yeah, fucking right on there, bro. You're like, okay, I made a song about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Well,. I mean, speaking of haters and things like that, I mean, is there just anybody in this industry you can't stand? Uh, there's a lot of people in this <laughs> industry I can't stand. Uh, it's just, I mean, I don't want to say a whole bunch of names. But <laughs> you like, got a list ready and compiled. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't even like that, man. Like, I, I try to stay away from 
I'm that kind of shit, man. Like, I, I mean, sometimes I get wrapped up in it. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I've said shit on, on Facebook, on posts and, and videos and whatnot, but, I mean, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> it's just something I choose not to focus on. Like, I'm, I'm more focused on, you know, my album. They're, if they're going to waste all their time hating me and, and putting all that negative energy toward why don't you just worry about your fucking music, man? Am I that much of a problem to you that you can't focus on your shit? Well, like, they're probably albums. they're probably dropping songs on Turtle Beach headphones, so... Right, exactly. Like, it's, it's ridiculous sometimes. I mean, I hear all kinds of hate shit, and it's like, really? You're <laughs> really gonna waste that much fucking energy on me? I'm flattered, man, like, for real. Like, I must be making some noise if you're gonna sit there and dog my ass out on a, on a post, on a public forum, like, <laughs> that's, that's proof right there that you're doing something. You're making it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, especially, you know, if, if they say, you know, the biggest way to tell success is that haters have their name, or have your name in their mouth. Right, so. exactly. <laughs> that's, that's how it is. It's just how it goes. That's well, how the game is. Well, what about this song, Wicked Ways? What can you tell me about that? Wicked Ways is, um, it's just a straight-ahead dark track. Like, it's it's probably one of my favorite tracks on the album, I can say that. Um, that's probably why I gave it to you, was, like, one of the ones I really feel like it's... It's just one of the ones I really felt was going to be, a, like, a lead-off single off the album. Got awesome. a good hook, good lyrics, and I think people are going to dig it. Awesome. Well, I'm going to play that now and let them get a taste of that. I will be right back with Chaos Anubis. This is Chaos Anubis, Wicked Ways on Muser. These wicked ways I'm slicing with the sharpest blades Come out and play Cut your throat Then I walk away With the axe I split open your brains I'm sick as hell I walk with the wicked ways These wicked ways I'm slicing with the sharpest blades Come out and play Cut your throat Then I walk away With the axe I split open your brains I'm sick as hell I walk with the wicked ways I drag the course to the cemetery gates Marching true to the sound that my head plays The sky is gray with the smoke and smell of decay Lost in the haze of the darkest motherfucking space Underground for years, now it's time to serve this I'm shaking like a maniac, making me nervous Did I deserve this? Tossing here for my preservers Too far gone, now my condition is worsening These wicked ways, I'm slicing with the sharpest blades Come out and play, cut your throat, then I walk away With the axe, I split open your brains I'm sick as hell, I walk with the wicked ways These wicked ways, I'm slicing with the sharpest blades Come out and play, cut your throat, then I walk away With the axe, I split open your brains I'm sick as hell, I walk with the wicked ways Axe is attack, walking off me past Last, last, decapitate your faggot ass Let's get it started, it's a bloodbath mass Follow the tracks, I don't need any ghoulish mask I'm off the grid, then my landscape's vast Chewing on your flesh with the maggots and the rats You just another bitch, my collection's past packed You'll know it's me coming when you fall face flat these wicked ways, I'm slicing with the sharpest blades Come out and play, cut your throat, then I walk away With the axe, I split open your brains I'm sick as hell, I walk with the wicked ways These wicked ways, I'm slicing with the sharpest blades Come out and play, cut your throat, then I walk away With the axe, I split open your brains I'm sick as hell, I walk with the wicked ways I'm on fire! 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 I'
overload the grates of your never ending day I'm on fire, I'm on fire The flames burn higher, the flames burn higher As your soul desires, burning up the inside to your life inspires The flames burn higher, the flames burn higher I'm on fire, I'm on fire The flames burn higher, the flames burn higher As your soul desires, burning up the inside to your life inspires The flames burn higher Scorching in the dark abyss Solar eclipse when I'm rising out the crypt Bloody mess and the smoke that I uplift Up from the pillars below, now I exist Nightmares are coming true, don't need no exorcist I can't fucking be stopped, so don't persist Only coming out at night, the graveyard shift Tearing through the living cause I'm floating the drift like a bird of prey, I'm seasoned like a feast day Halfway to the core of death, bodies on display For the world to see, it's time for you to rot away Order has been given, face to decay, elaborate way Dwindle down to crisp, body charcoal saute Radioactive ray signal becoming a PK I'm far underground, rising up to reclaim What's all is mine, I'm burning like the charcoal flames I'm on fire What's up, what's up, Rainstorm of Blood is Live. That was On Fire by Chaos Anubis. What can you tell us about that track, man? We we had an, uh, a kid emergency <laughs> go on, so, so we let the music play, but that's all right with y'all, I'm sure. Oh, that's, that's, that's another one of my favorite tracks. Um, I played that for a lot of people, and that seems to be another one that um, is a standout track on the album. On fire is like something I feel all the time. Like it's just like constant on edge, like all fucking day, all night. Like I just I never know what's gonna happen. I'm just I'm on edge all the time, man. Like I'm I'm ready for whatever. Like a lot of bad shits happen to me. Like I'm just fucking man. Let's let's bring it on, man. I'm on fire. Let's let's fucking let's do it, man. Like it's just crazy. Life's crazy. Well, I mean, and really, okay, you know, I got to ask you this, because you said you went through, you know, a difficult period recently and whatnot. I mean, what would you really, you know, say to somebody that's going through that kind of a difficult period? I'm still going through it. Oh, well, okay. It's been nonstop, nonstop bullshit over and over. I, I really feel like I'm fucking, like I'm cursed or something, man, like. That's just how I feel. Like it's just been constantly bad, negative things going on, and it's hard to keep your head up and be positive when everything's going wrong. So it's like, but to anybody that's that's out there that's that's feeling it, I mean, I've I've been through it a million times. It's like, I know it's cliche to say things will look up, but you know, most of the time they just they work themselves out in some weird way, and you end up, you know fixing whatever problems you had, you know, at least temporary. Yeah. And, you know, temporary is all we can hope it, for. <laughs> right. It, it finds a way to work itself out, basically. You know, you just, you just gotta be able to ride through it, man, you know. Okay. That's really all I can say about it. Well, I mean, let's talk about influences and things like that. You know, I know you said ICP. I mean, but who else kind of influenced you, you know, as far as, you know, people that you looked up to in the game? Um, a lot of people are probably going to be shocked by this answer, but I started off, like, most of my early years and everything up to, like, 10, 11, 12 years old was all metal. Like, it was all metal influences. Ozzy probably being one of the biggest influences, I would fucking... Like, he was just a performer, man. I, I looked up to him, man. Like, he was... Um, he, he captivated... He knew how to captivate people, and I fucking... I, I latched on to that. I'm like, this dude can really control a fucking crowd. Like, he knows how to get that crowd where he wants them, and I respect that. Like, the 
music. I've mm-hmm. always been into metal. Like, metal's my shit, man. Like, I got Bobby Crew tattooed on my fucking arm. They're my favorite band. Like, but I'm, you know, doing rap. Like, a lot of people would be like, what the fuck, man? But, <laughs> that's just, you Well, know, what do you think about like, them doing a farewell tour? I'm, I'm bummed out, man. Like, those, that, those are my dudes, man. That's my favorite band. I, like, I've seen them probably 50 times. I've met them. I got all their albums. I got, you know, I'm a super fan of a lot of people, man. So it's, I, it really bummed me out. Mm. I don't think, I think they're too young to fucking retire, man. Like, <laughs> They got a lot of energy in them. Look at the Rolling Stones. They're fucking like 92 years old. They're still going at it. And Kiss. Like, oh my gosh. I, I saw I, Kiss on one of their farewell tours. And Kiss is another one of my favorite bands. Uh, Psychotic always gives me shit about liking Kiss because I got every single one of their albums. Kiss Cologne and Kiss This. And he, <laughs> like, just like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? You got everything Kiss ever put out. And I'm like, I'm, I'm a fan, dude. I like their music, man. Like, I just don't see it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, that's, that's my shit, man. See, only the, the record label owner can actually out the artist like that and get away with it. <laughs> exactly. I, I can get away with it, but he still gives me shit about it. Um, music influence, uh, as far as rap, like, I mean, a lot of people would probably be surprised. Like, Nas is one of the you know, to me, one of the best rappers out there. Like, the dude's got fucking, he's just a, he's a poet, man. He's able to put his words, you know, and make meaning out of it. And just, nah, this is the shit, man. Like, I look up to a lot of the rappers that were pretty much in the mainstream for a long time. Everlast, obviously, like, I'm a white rapper. Like, here in House of Pain was, like, the first hardcore rap out there, like, I don't really count Beastie Boys because they weren't really all that hardcore. <laughs> House of Pain was the shit, man. Like you can't you can't look back at that and not be like, man, these guys were like the first white hardcore taken seriously rap act. Everlast was the shit, man. He's one of my biggest influences. Awesome, awesome. I mean, and what do you think about people that are in the mainstream now? I mean, when it comes to, you know, your M&Ms, your... Even Tech 9 has gone kind of, you know, over into the mainstream. You know, I I mean, how do you kind of feel about them? I mean, do you ever, you know, catch yourself, you know, liking any of their music, or...? I can't say I don't like it, because I'd be lying. Like, they got... They're fucking talented dudes, man. They're they're obviously on the... You know, they're on the top of their game. They got fucking, you know, millions of YouTube views and listeners. <laughs> I mean, they're just, they're fucking huge. They're bigger than life. So, I mean, like, like that song Rap God, I'm like, damn, this dude's really fucking flowing, man. The Eminem shit, I'm like, he's, he's really flowing on this shit. I don't like all Eminem shit. I don't really like his voice all that much. <laughs> but I, I give respect for it's due, man. Like, these dudes are really fucking... You know, Tech 9 too, man. Like, I saw a video. He's on BET now. Like, it's, you know, we being psychotic. We're watching it the other day. Like, man, it's mainstream as fuck. But, you know, it was a good song, man. I can't say that it really wasn't a good song, you know? I don't so, think there's anything wrong with being mainstream, but... So, yeah, that's, that's my next question, is if you were given the opportunity, would you actually go that route? Me, no, but... Uh, I mean, it's just not the kind of music that I like to do as, um, as an artist. I, I do the wicked shit, man. Like, I've delved into into some mainstream shit. Like, The Wordsmith, probably one of my more popular albums, is a lot of more street rap. You know what I mean? Like, it's songs like Slow Burn. And, like, it's just more like straight ahead, like street rap. Um, and I like that kind of shit, man. I like to be able to do that, too. Kind of like what Blaze does. He mixes the gangsta shit with the wicked shit. I love that shit, man. That's awesome. Hmm. So, but, so can we look for a gangster album from you in the future? I don't know about a street gangster <laughs> album. But, uh, I mean, I, there's, like, the last thing I put out, Catacomb Compilation, had some, there's a song on there I did called Street Heat, and uh, it's a, it's one of the collabs I did that didn't, obviously is not going to go on any album because it just don't fit on anything. Catacomb compilation was like a bunch of outtakes, B-sides and whatnot that, you know, people are probably not going to ever hear anywhere else. And that's why I put that out. It was just a bunch of tracks that really didn't fit anywhere. But, you know, I I want people to be 
be able to hear all this shit because you never know what people are going to like. Yeah, exactly. I like doing that shit. I like doing the street shit sometimes. Not everything has to be just like straight, wicked, like, you know, sometimes you got to delve into different areas. Everybody tries to at one time or another. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can't grow unless you, you know, embrace diversity a little bit. You got to. I mean, everybody's done it. Twisted. I mean, look at New Nightmare. I mean, there's there's a lot of mainstream sound and shit on there. Like, dudes singing hooks and stuff. Like, they're trying something different, man. I respect that. Twisted's my favorite fucking group, you know? Like, I, I respect that, man. Like, they're, they're, they're not going to keep doing the same thing, you know, for 40 albums. They want to <laughs> try, some, try something different, man. What's wrong with it if you need to? Exactly, exactly. And I mean, talking about, you know, you had said, you know, the songs that, you know, people hadn't heard, you know, and you were kind of, you know, putting it, and you were talking about people, you know, working with people and collabs and whatnot. Who was your favorite person to work with? My favorite person to work with? That's, that's a good question, too. Like, I've, I've done a shitload of collabs. Like, um, we just recently did one with uh, Mars, and that's... That was that turned out really fucking good, man. I think we're gonna probably use it as a, like a single or CD single or something like that. Mars is cool, but I mean, my within my inner circle, man, like Psychotic and me, we fucking we flow well together, man. We feed off each other, and he's probably probably one of my fa- more favorite people to collab with because we know what kind of track we're gonna make, and we're on the same page with it, you know. But when you're collabing with somebody you don't really know, you don't really know where they're gonna go with. Just kind of put your your spin on it and hope it's a good track. Yeah, or hope you get the track back at all. We've had some that uh, didn't even uh, send it back. <laughs> so, right. and you're just like, are you done with that? They're like, what? What collab? <laughs> yeah, see, like, that explains it, man. It's just, like I get people all the time, like, what do you charge for collabs? For a while, I didn't charge shit because I'm like, who am I to charge these motherfuckers? Like. Hundred dollars for a collab, or some crazy shit. Yeah, I think like I not. think Psychotic decided on my show actually that he was gonna start charging people. Right. Yeah, and that's that's what I'm saying. Like you, you know, he's getting to the point. We're all getting to that point. You know, we're our name's buzzing. You know, like there's no reason we can't charge thirty bucks for a collab because we're gonna kill that shit, and it's worth it. You know, like they're gonna get a fucking decent track. You know, I, I think it's worth 30 bucks. That's, I mean, that's what I'm charging. Yeah. I've already, had one, I've already had, you know, one or two people already send me the money for that shit. And it's like, that's that's cool, man. Like, people inquire all the time about doing collabs. Hell yeah. Well, that's what's up. Well, we're going to play your last track that you had actually sent me, um, Bury You All. What do you want to say, I mean, in, in closing here, you know, in, in the interview and whatnot, you know, we definitely appreciate that you came on and you'll have to come back on with me again. Now, now, now you're mine. So, <laughs> once you come on my show, you won't want to be interviewed by anybody else. Are you sure this is recording? Because I got, I got a weird feeling that this isn't even recording. <laughs> it is. It it's is a recording. Chaos curse, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> it is recording. It has never failed me yet. Now uh, I say yeah, yet. Exactly. <laughs> no. Um, so you want me to do like a closing statement then, right? Uh, basically, I mean, if you have any shout outs, you can say that. Any of that. All right. Um. Well, thanks for fucking having me on. I appreciate it. Um. We finally got to do it. Uh, the album drops April 5th. You'll be able to get it on Amazon.com. Um, there'll be links all over my page. iTunes will have it. Um, obviously, we'll have it at all the shows. Um, if you don't know, you want to hear more music, you like what you heard on here, check out ReverbNation.com slash Chaos Anubis. If you're on YouTube and want to check out the videos, it's Chaos Anubis TV. Just type that shit in, all one word, and uh, subscribe. We're all over the internet, and, um... All in your news feed. Blog. If you subscribe to them, you'll see them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll see my official page. I'm, I'm always updating shit. Like, it's... Hit me up on Facebook.
book with any questions. Like, it's, it's been an honor to be on here, man, for real. Yeah, I mean, it's great to, and uh, like I said, hopefully this did record, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I, uh, I definitely appreciate you being on here, um... And like I said, you got to come back on. Uh, if you want to come back on, you know, closer to the album drop or right after it drops, that'd be great. Absolutely, yeah, I'd be down to do that. Um, yeah, I hope everybody gets a chance to hear the album, man. Just check out the, the reverb and YouTube links. My official page, Chaos and Nubis, obviously, on Facebook. And, um, yeah, just get a copy of the album, man. Let me know what you think. Come check us out on tour. We're going to be with uh, Twisted at Battle Creek on, I believe it's the 23rd. And uh, that means Psychotic are going to be on that show. And then we go on the road, man. We're going to be going hard. Hey. Shout out to all my fans for listening. Thank you. It's Nocturnal Domination. Case the fuck up. Thanks for having me. All right. This is Chaos Anubis. Bury you all on music. <laughs> Motherfuckers, eight gigs. I'ma bury you, motherfuckers. I'ma bury you, motherfuckers. Creeping through the blackest ashes, full set on bones. We slashing, they know I'm the main attraction. Rope around your neck, stays fashion, vulnerable fashion. Lines with some axes, hit you with time in your necks. Be cashing, put on some action, taking the crack at 25. Fuckers on mass, assassin, suit up a murder. I'm a quick learner, rise up a burner, burning the journal. Breaking your skulls, taking it further, calling the merge. Not sure that we purge, you're speaking on us, and you know that we burn. You're never concerned, you know that I'm hurt. Girls and squirming on every version. Down in the nocturnal news, they yearn. With those of the wicked, and pussies be squirting. As for Hurting, I'll smack in the person Hurting your bitch like a fucking a virgin What's your assertion? Not to my verse Cause bury your bitches and always a person Kill them concerned and bring them to death You follow with verse and watch as it worsens Watch as it worsens See the cave fall Then you know that it's your curtain call Coming out the shadows Prepare your death spawn Cause I'm taking your life Then I'ma bury you all I'ma bury you all I'ma bury you all You will see the cave fall then you know that it's your curtain call Coming out the shadows Prepare your death straw Cause I'm taking your lives Then I'ma bury you all I'ma bury you all I'ma bury you all I'm a death The only answer as I'm spread like a cancer Toxic all around me as I'm infecting my banner Underneath the nether world Just like a necromancer The K on my arm is the deciding of factors Bitch, motherfuckers, die MCs acting like actors Spitting the real shit or take a long leave of absence I'm always advancing, never try my deadly reaction I got the world described in all my storage of tablets The creed of this movement is me and my dead faction Coming like the IRS so bitches pay your taxes I want writing your blood like an oath of a bastard If you fail the reason then I'll be spreading your ashes Killing your asses, I'm the one you should be asking Mirrors to stay at the end of the fascist Rhymes that I'll be blasting, knives that I'll be slashing I'ma bury you all, and I'ma piss on your fucking ashes you see the cave fall, then you know that it's your curtain call Coming out the shadows, prepare your death spawn Cause I'm taking your lives, then I'ma bury you all I'ma bury you all, I'ma bury you all When you see the cave fall, then you know that it's your curtain call Coming out the shadows, prepare your death spawn Cause I'm taking your lives, then I'ma I'ma bury you all, I'ma bury you all, I'ma bury you all, I'ma 